The good news, Mike, thank you. In our region, the Sierra is seeing the brunt of the fire season this year. From heat to drought to thunderstorms, the weather really hasn't been in our favor in the Sierra. Angela Schilling digs into this year's summer stats and how they factored into our fire season. Record breaking heat is not only uncomfortable to be in, but it also enhances fire danger. Not only did Reno break records for heat this summer, but Lake Tahoe did as well, drying out fuels like timber in the Sierra. The average temperature in South Lake Tahoe during the month of July is roughly 80 degrees, but this summer was rather hot up in the Sierra, including Lake Tahoe. On average, they usually see about one day during the entire year with temperatures at or above 90 degrees. But when you look at the month of July, it happened four times this summer. And then during the month of August, it happened three times. In June, it happened four times as well. So compared to that one we usually see throughout the entire year, it definitely was a hot summer around Lake Tahoe when you still have a lot of timber and then you get a lot of heat during the summer. Everything dries out and it's just not good news in terms of fire danger. Very hot, unstable air allows fires to grow like thunderstorms. This is called pyrocumulus clouds, something we have seen a lot of this summer. Pyrocumulus clouds can grow very quickly and produce sporadic winds. Rain would have been nice too. South Lake Tahoe did pick up roughly a quarter of an inch of rain in July, which is not too far from normal. But considering the lack of precipitation that fell this winter and spring, just added insult to injury. In terms of wind, it has been breezy at times. The direction of the wind has not been ideal either. Southwesterly flow just brings more smoke into the valley. Covering the story, Angela Schilling, 2 News.